on today's topic i said you have to have my sweet tooth and that is me addressing my daughter about having my sweet tooth it's funny but before i decided to do this video like when i got the idea of doing this video the research about the kind of traits that children get from their mothers and it was really shocking the kind of things that i found out because there's so many times that you know my daughter would exhibit some form of traits that i would just wonder that where did you get that from and it really did shock me because the first one on that list when i did my research was sleeping style like honestly this one was really shocking i don't know how my mind did not avert to it but when my child when when she was a baby i discovered that she would just stay awake till like 11 12 in the night and she would not sleep and it would not be that she's crying or she's disturbing you or anything she would just not sleep it was it was just like a norm. She would just be awake, throwing her legs, trying to drag something, trying so hard to play. And I did not just avert my mind to, it, to the fact that she was just like me. Like normally, I would not sleep until I think I naturally just get tired around 1 a.m. Except I've done something rigorous during the day and just knocks me off around maybe 10. I don't naturally get tired until like 1 a.m. And if I actually have something to do, like I have work to do, maybe I need to edit my videos, I do it in the middle of the night. So it gets me working till like 3 a.m., 4 sometimes. And it was it was really shocking. It's just lately that she started playing around, that you will actually see her get tired and fall asleep at around 10 p.m. But naturally, she would just sleep like 12. And sleeping at 12 means that lights are off, no one is saying anything to her. That is when she would force herself to sleep the second one i got is hair color and hair texture that is so true she has my hair color which is not black it's i don't know i think it's between brown and i'm not sure i just know that whatever color my hair is is the color her hair is and the texture of my hair mm -mm. the only thing i think she did not get from my hair is the volume because i i have a lot of hair on my head it's it's even hard for me to wear lace wig if you can see this, this is my hair like it's my hairline is almost joining my brow if you can see it right there that's the only thing she did not get from me which i'm pretty sad about <laughs> another one is temper the next one is intelligence oh yes oh yes she is intelligent just like our mama yeah. Dominant hands. Now, this one really made me sad. Because when I read it all, I discovered that because I I am right-handed, my daughter is right-handed. And some time ago, like a really, really long time ago before I got married, I read that people who are left-handed, that they actually use a part of their brain that is not being used by right-handed people and so they become more intelligent than right-handed people so in my mind i really really i so wanted a left-handed kid i <laughs> i don't even know if that is legit saying but i so wanted a left-handed kid i just and like i tried everything sometimes when she would pick a pencil up with her left hand i'll be like yeah do it do it but no she is right-handed okay, and the last but not the least the one that really is the major deal for this topic is healthy eating habits a job <laughs> i don't know where my daughter got her own from i am not a healthy eater at all honestly if it is not sweet i will not eat it like i have a sweet tooth so much that it bothers me but I cannot help it. Like, if it is not sweet, I'm the kind of put sugar in the beans, put sugar in the yam, put sugar in the gari, in the pap. If it's not sweet, what are we eating? I don't understand. And just like that, I just thought in my head that it would be fun for a child to also have a sweet tooth. And the child would just 
eat sweet things like take chocolates, take sweets, ice cream. Unfortunately for me, unfortunately for my daughter, she does not have a sweet tooth. <laughs> sometimes it makes me sad. Like there are sometimes that I want to comfort it, and I just want to do it in the name of Shea Baby wants it. So that I can pretend to feed her and I can take it. Like some of those things are ice cream, which I am not supposed my my name and ice cream should not even come in the same sentence. But I so crave for ice cream so much that I would now want to pretend and say Shea Baby wants ice cream. So that I can get the ice cream, I want to feed her with it. But look at my daughter, she takes two spoons and she has strayed away. And I'm now left with the ice cream bowl. And the whole world can see that I am the one having the ice cream and it's not Shea Baby. <laughs> like I can't, I can't even use her as an excuse to have a sweet tooth anymore. <laughs> like I want to eat chocolate and I'm like, she's the one who wants the chocolate and everyone looks at me like, who oh, now? Nah. Like my baby eats crackers. That's salty, pepper tasting crackers. That is the kind of biscuit she likes. And she... It's sad. I honestly... I really wanted her to have my sweet tooth. I, I thought it was it was going to be like... Like, you know, bonding time for mommy and Shea baby. You know, in the sweet tooth gang. But not like... She not get them. So, Google, you got that wrong. My daughter has a healthy eating habit. And I'm probably sure that she brought from heaven. She did not get that one from me. <laughs> she didn't get it from me at all. I'm sure she got it from heaven. Because I just bless God. And, okay, so speaking about sweet tooth, it brings me to the season that we are in. It's happy new months from me to you guys. Happy December. And... We are in the Christmas period and ta-da, it is your Christmas hat and you can see, you can see, you can see, it's so pretty. Now this is my size, this is my size, so I'm going to put it on now so that you all can see. <gasps> I feel like Christmas is here already. Oh yes. I am so loving it. Okay, so the thing about the crochet hat for this season is that all my subscribers get to get a 20% discount. I'm sure you saw the the code for the discount flashing on the screen throughout this video. You're going to go to Instagram, you're going to go to or to my whatsapp my number is on my instagram page so you can just copy it from there and send me a dm with the code if you want the 20 percent discount now this is not the only color available i think you can see you can see the little ball on my head this is another color you can see the red is popping the green is popping it's all christmasy stop buying those sleazy hats that you used to buy those 200 naira hats stop it it is not fit for you okay so this hat the good thing about the hat is it is washable you can just pop it in your washing machine and you spin it and you can see the pattern it is so beautiful like sometimes when i look at it i can't believe i made this and another good thing about it is that you can use both sides Wow! You can use both sides of this hat. The brim is even fine. I think I prefer this side. Or this side. I don't even know. <laughs> the brim is even finer. If you go on Instagram, if you go on my Instagram page, you see my Instagram handle in the description box below. If you go on my Instagram page, you would see models or probably Shea Baby wearing one of this. And this is this is a this is a different size. This is a smaller size. So you're going to see 
a lot of description and your size specification in on Instagram I mean you're going to see size specifications so that it will be easy for you to order and the only way to order is to send me a DM on Instagram or on WhatsApp and this is I think this this is for you see size specification this is another color oh my goodness this is for a 6 to 12 months baby you can see you can see oh lord it looks yummy <laughs> I feel like I could eat it up right now this is for a 6 to 12 months old yes and the same way you can pop it and use the other side so you can have two three parties Ooh. this is even lovelier this is for a newborn this is for zero to three months and I was going to show you another variation of this if you pop it to the other side on the other side there's a hole in it where you can just pop your pom-pom out on the other side see you're going to get more pictures on Instagram go to Instagram send me a DM so that you can place your order and then I can send them to you after they are made Wow, this is so beautiful okay so thank you thank you very much for watching and before I end this video I'm going to leave you with a quote from Elizabeth Stone and she says making a decision to have a child is momentous it is to decide forever to have your heart go walking around outside your body thank you and bye bye